Alrighty, well, morning everybody, and cast time once again. And, um, and uh, let me go ahead and start by saying, uh, this one here was just kind of a slapdash job, just kind of rush put together and all that, because, uh, I'm anticipating it about an hour from now. It's 11 10 p.m. currently where I'm at, that, uh, probably, probably around midnight, um, I'm guessing that, uh, my ISP, uh, Charter Spectrum, I'm guessing they're going to be doing, uh, they're going to be doing maintenance on my, uh, on my internet, which means it's going to be shut down for at least an hour. So I want to get this cast done and sent off and all of it taken care of before that happens. So, so, and along with the fact that, uh, my, these videos are starting to get more and more elaborate, which means more and more likely mistakes are going to get made. So again, don't be surprised. And, um, as you can tell by the uh, by the image there, um, what I'm going to be playing is a uh, this is a two-hour winter synth and dark ambient playlist. Um, just there was um there were actually uh there was actually others that I was looking for, but I mean copyright kind of like makes that a no-go. So yeah, I had a so I I found something else that. And to my amazement, it's a two-hour long playlist, and uh, all of it's free to use. So, I mean, I was kind of like, if like, maybe like one song is copyrighted, I was just going to go ahead and play this anyway. Especially if that one song is like at the tail end of the playlist or something like that, I might go ahead and do it. But no, the whole entire playlist is uh, free to use. So, chances are, I might just go ahead and like, on my subsequent subsequent casts, just um, just play some of the just keep plugging away on the winter synth and dark ambient, and it, it also kind of it also kind of suits my mood right now. I'll I'll talk more about it as the cast goes on. So, let me go ahead and get that fired up. Oh, and um, if I remember to, I'll explain why I use that image later on. I'll just say close enough, but anyway, um, like I, same way I always start my day, um, did a pinball stream, and once again, that didn't come out right, anyway, um, it, FX3 crashed, pinball arcade crashed once again, I thought I had it taken care of yesterday, but apparently not, so, um, I ended up having to kill the stream, and then, um, eventually I just did, I did today what I did yesterday. I think, uh, oh, where, I had to go on my C drive. I had to, uh, I had to change the permissions. Like, one of my users, I had to give it full control, full access. Um, and then, um, uh, excuse me, then right when I did that, a whole bunch of AMD Raid on files all of a sudden started getting downloaded. And we are frozen. Hold on just a second. Let me fix this. Okay, there we go. But yeah, anyway, it was just. the interruption yeah, let, me, let me get that out of there sorry about that it's, I forgot how to get rid of the experience and interruptions find out why little pop-up 
So, but he, it, it started, I mean, it's really ticking me off, though. I mean, you know, I came into, I came into the stream in a good mood, you know, just ready to go, thinking, yeah, problem solved, and I could just hop right on in on FX3 and Arcade like I always do. Nope. So, so yeah, I knew the sale was a little ticked. And kind of like yesterday, um, Zachariah Pinball went okay. It works. Oh, and uh, let me rewind back a little bit, but after I, uh, after those files got reinstalled, I restarted my computer. Like I said, it's a rinse and repeat of yesterday. Uh, just, then it, FX3 worked fine, uh, aside from all the flickering. So that, flickering like crazy. So it just, it was like a, it was like a few days ago when, I, when FX3 was just starting to not work. Like that kind of flicker, like blink, 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 blink. I mean, it was like that. I mean, yesterday when I when I fixed it, um, FX3 it only blinked like once in a while, nothing major. But today, or my uh, when I came when I came back from my second stream, you know, after fixing my problem and all that, blink, 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 but then going to Pinball Arcade, worked fine. Like, no blinking at all. So, but, um, as far as the session itself goes, I, I, this is one of the rare ones. I actually did better on Pinball Arcade than I did on FX3. I mean, FX3, I was pretty ass. Um, the, uh, the first place finishes I had in some of my, some of my tournaments, the ones that I scored so damn good that I didn't think I'd ever be able to duplicate those results. Well, about two or three people did. So, all those tournaments I got first place and I'm now like third or fourth. So, yeah, so much for that. Oh, and then, uh, then Zachariah. It, Zachariah is Zachariah, so, I mean, I suck on those, but that's pretty much by default due to the way the tables are designed. Um, oh, and, um, Kitaro87, um, one of my one of my regulars, uh, we've known each other for at least five years. Uh, he did mention that uh, he asked about Final Fantasy fourteen. Um, I went on there too today. It it still works. So so that's good to know. And it and it might actually come in handy too, cause I mean down down the road, you know down the road, who who knows what might happen? I might end up actually being forced to forced to play fourteen now. Um, but otherwise, for the most part, um, I would, I would, it, it was just a sloppy day. Just, you know, just sat around, watched shit. Um, I think I took like a, I think I took a couple naps, a couple one hour naps. So, uh, I think, uh, watched a fair amount of rugby and it's, and I also spent a good chunk of time just trying to get this cast going so but like I said at the start um, I gotta get this taken care of and all squared away before midnight so I have about 40 to 45 minutes to get this all done so uh, but one thing I did do I did look at um, I did look at graphics cards but best case scenario well I mean part of part of that too I mean part of that too is I mean I'm only having problems on FX3 and pinball arcade oh and um and Final Fantasy 14 as well every other game I've played works so it's, it's just the issue I mean, the issue is only those three games and then the um and I guess while I'm here the 
the little black blinking towards the lower right corner. Um, Guitaro87 mentioned that as well. You know, but again, not really, there isn't really anything I can do about it. Um, but again, I looked into, I looked into graphics cards, it's like, because I mean, I, I sure as hell don't want to, I don't want to buy a whole brand spanking new computer, but on the other hand too, the graphics card I have on my computer right now is an upgrade. And even then, it's basically incompatible with my computer, because every so often, my computer randomly restarts. Just right out of the blue. I'll click some. And it just goes into restart mode. And I found one. It's a 4 gigabyte graphics card. It's same. It's what I got on my computer now. A 4 gigabyte one. Um, it's at a $200. I want to say it's a different brand too, GeForce. Um, the one I have on my computer now is a AMD, which now that I think about it, apparently it ain't in here. Oh, there we go. So let me click AMD. Duh. Eight gig. And it, it has to be a four gigabyte. I had to, I have to get that just to be able to stream. I tried a, I tried the default two gigabyte card that I had on my computer. It came with the computer, um, but uh, no, I couldn't do hardly anything. I had to set all the graphics settings at a absurdly low levels, like it, it became an eyesore, like it really looked like ass. I couldn't stand looking at it. And even then, even then it was still, uh, the stream was like really super laggy, but it looks like we got one here. Um, 179. RX 550. No, wait, mine's a, mine's a 560. So, yeah, this is actually a, this would actually be a slight downgrade. There we go. <laughs> so, but anyway, um, but yeah, it looks like yeah. Um, I don't think I have a Saplos. No, this this ain't what I have. My card only has one fan, not two. I think this is probably what I have here. But mine was a RX 560, not a 550. So, but yeah, um, if I do get another another graphics card, it's gonna be the, probably gonna be this one. But like I said, um, only as it as it stands right now, only three games, only. Th only three games out of all the other games I have have this issue. So, but anyway, I'll um, I'll worry more about that later. So, um, but one other thing I definitely did do, so I didn't, I didn't read this like a fiend or anything. Um, to me, this is just um. Just somebody trying to kick the tires and light the fires. It's Jessica Wildfire. Um, 
It's it just, it's stuff I've, it's stuff I've read before. It's stuff I've known about for a long time. She kind of changed, she kind of changed it up a little bit. Uh, but. And, um, I found this to be pretty interesting. I mean, you know, I mean, you know, corporate, you know, capitalist people, you know, those, you know, big oil, big tobacco, etc. In my mind, they're human beings too. I mean, it's, you know, it's their planet as well. So, so, you know, I, un I understand that, but then on the other hand too, this is the last thing I would ever expect a, I would, or I would ever expect a greedy corporate person to say. There's a time when panic is the appropriate response. I think I read somewhere else too that a lot of these uh, rich, wealthy people, they already have bunkers and they're already fully prepared for pan for the pandemic and Armageddon and all that. Um, I think it was actually another Jessica Wildfire article that a lot of these uh, a lot of these rich bastards. They're already good to go. They're all set. They're all set for the climate change, apocalypse, and Armageddon, and all that. They're all right, they're they're ready to go. So, I mean, they got the money, so yeah, they could pull that off. But again, it. Usually, these guys are more likely to say, "Ah, eh, don't worry about it. Things will be fine." That kind of, you know, climate deniers. John Doerr. Yeah, an American investor in New York Times. I mean, again, last last person I'd ever expect to say stuff like this. They're usually they're the ones who refute everything. Climate change doesn't exist. That kind of stuff. The world's melting. Okay, well, I'm just gonna do a quick skim over this. I read a small part of this. Um, but like I said, the only reason why I'm really reading this is because uh, she actually put a good spin on it. Because I think me, like lots of other people, um, we've all been told to get out there and vote. Or, you know, get out there and join, you know, get out there and protest, get out the picket signs, kick the tires and light the fires, you know, just, you know, rabble rousers, rousing the rabble, you know, grabbing the pitchforks and torches and stuff like that, and not everybody's, not everybody's cut off from that, or not everybody's cut off for that, I know I'm not. But yeah, I, I saw, I saw this, and I'm like, okay, maybe I'll read more of it. it. But like I said, I, I've read this kind of stuff before, so. Oh wait, that's that's clickable. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go through and read all this. Okay, yep, yep. Hell, I think I got this from uh, either U U.S. History for Dummies or the Idiot's Guide to U.S. History. I think they said that. I mean, I think they're saying that too. I mean, 
It was built on the backs of slaves. But uh, I think uh, one of the big, I mean, it's kind of a myth that, I mean, yeah, racism did exist back then. I mean, segregation and all that. But um, it wasn't all from maliciousness. I mean, plantation owners needed the slaves. They needed them to work because a lot of crops you got to do, you know, a lot of crops out there. It's, owners ain't going to be able to do it all by themselves, you know. So... Kind of going on a limit and saying, uh, yeah, slavery is evil, but especially back then, it was a necessary evil because, like I said, they can't, they can't, you know, they can't take care of the plantation all by themselves. Yep, relied on immigrants to run their factories even after the Civil War. Poor farmers for the sheriff. Imported cheap labor to build the railroads. Now, I, I guess, now yes, it, this kind of exploitation is yeah, it's pretty evil. You know, pretty wrong, but on the other hand, too, it's a necessary evil. It wasn't, it wasn't done out of maliciousness. At least, at least not in my mind. Take a drink of some Arizona green tea. But yeah, well, this is turning into a pretty good article. But um, unfortunately, unfortunately, I I do have to kill it here. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, like I said, I need a, I need to get this, I need to get this uh block, block. I need to get this cast off. Uh, I need to get it all uploaded and all that, and all taken care of before midnight. So that leaves me about 25 minutes. So I'll just go ahead and cut it off here, and I'll most likely continue reading the article. So, but yeah, like I said, I, I thought it was just gonna be another spin on get off your ass and get out there. You know, the same, you know. The same thing I've heard like for for many many years, you know. Go out and do, or go out and vote, or go out and do what I did. That kind of stuff. You, you get the idea. So anyway, um, uh, and once again, I'll just go ahead and call it good here. Uh, but thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow. Um, hopefully under more relaxed uh, circumstances. So, but until then, though. Thanks again for coming by, everybody, and see you all next time. Bye for now.